Now, we're looking at a situation where the entire financial system is bankrupt. We have a bail-in policy. Republicans are sitting here saying we have to wait for an election before we impeach this president. How many people are going to starve? We have our farmers here talking about our farm and our cattle and losing our farmland. How many people are losing their water right now? Why are we still playing party politics? The policy of fracking, and I have to disagree with the person who said that Obama wants to stop fracking because he don't, does it? He wants more fracking. Fracking is a policy that is a net loss. You want to actually do something that's productive, um, we got to go for fusion economy. We got to go for nuclear power. Why are we allowing for Wall Street to dictate the policies of both political parties? When I launched my campaign for U.S. Senate, I made clear demands that we needed a Democratic Party that would be committed again to the traditions exemplified by the ideas and the vision of President John F. Kennedy and President Franklin Roosevelt. A party that would once again be committed not to a loyalty of a president, but to the loyalty of our constitutional republic and that principle which our constitution represents. Polls and the statistics and so forth say this, that throughout the course of history, you've always had to have a lot of money, you've had to have political endorsements, you had to have the support of the popular opinion and so forth. But we're changing the conception of what is quote-unquote popular because now with 70 to 80 percent of the population opposing this president we're actually giving people a sense that what is said to be popular is something completely different the population is ready for leadership they're sick and tired of being told what to do and politicians being bought and paid for we need real leadership. I represent that leadership. I represent solutions for the direction of mankind. I represent solutions for a future. We can get out of this crisis now if we choose to do what is right. to say. I've been at this for about five years now, calling for the impeachment of this president, and I think I've realized something, and I wanted to come back here and tell you guys that I think you've been betting on the wrong horse. Because the problem right now is that the Republican Party has made no attempt to impeach this president, and he has to be impeached now. Now is the time to stop playing party politics. Now, I have led the charge as...